Two and a half years ago, I made this video about the best way to make your videos look crystal clear when you put them online. And it really was the best way. And it didn't cost very much, like $29 for QuickTime Pro. Well, times have changed, and now we've got a better way, and it's even free. It'll help you lose those unwanted gigabytes of flabby, fuzzy images that take hours to upload. And you'll get a crystal clear crisp and clean svelte video that uploads in minutes so you can be more productive with the rest of your day. So stick around and get the skinny on this new flab reduction technique that all the stars are using. Well, the YouTube stars anyway. We're going to go to the screen in just a moment, but first I want to tell you about the big change in how to get your videos ready for the web. Hi, I'm Steve Washer with BrainyVideo.com. These days, a lot of editing programs will automatically upload your videos to sites like YouTube or Vimeo. In some cases, it's good enough to pass the Brainy Video sniff test, like with Final Cut Pro. But in many other cases, these automatic modules are useless. Sometimes they make a video that won't even play on your own computer, let alone online. And even if the video file is acceptable, that doesn't mean it's the best possible fit for you. For example, lots of TVs can now play YouTube videos. Some of these screens are enormous. But if you use your editing program's digitizing module, you might end up with a video that, when it plays on a TV, looks like this. Hey, what? I can't see my feet. Do I have to go on another diet? Oh, by the way, this nastiness is caused by excessive compression, where so many pixels have been destroyed that you can no longer see the image clearly. <laughs> So, to avoid this trap, you need to prepare your videos properly for the web and sometimes even for TV. This video will show you how to do that. So, one more thing before we go into it. If you know your videos will never be watched on TV, you can upload them at 720p. That's quite big enough for any computer. If you're going to upload them for TV, then use 1080p. So, what program are we going to use for all this slimming down business? It's called Handbrake. Now, let's learn how to use it. Before we use Handbrake, we have to go download it from this site. Just select the right version for your operating system and install it. Now we open Handbrake. Now when Handbrake is open, we go to Source, click on Source. And in this case, we have a video that we'd like to put in here. It's 2.12 gigabytes, uh, about four minutes long. And it's only uh, 1280 by 720, that's 720p that I was talking about before. So we'll open it up in Handbrake. It scans it. You want to load your video into Handbrake at the highest possible resolution, up to the resolution of what you shot your video with. So if you shot at 1080p, output it from your editing software at 1080p and at the lowest possible compression. That way you give Handbrake the best quality file to work with. It might be dozens of gigabytes at this point, but that's fine. We're going to do some surgery on it, remove all the pixels we don't need. So, back to the screen. And now let's go to the picture settings. And this is where we can, you know, set the resolution. Now in this case, the highest resolution that we can get is 1280 by 720, because that's what it was shot at. So we're just going to leave this alone. But if we wanted, we could go, we see we can't go up any higher, but we could go way down. We could go maybe to 640 by 360, but let's just go up as high as we can, 1280 by 720. And so we'll let that alone. Now, uh, as you notice here, it's going to make an MP4 file, which is all we want. And we're going to give it an average bit rate, since this is going to a video sharing site, we'll give it an average bit rate of 4,500 uh, kilobits per second. We'll give it two-pass encoding. That means that it will give us, um, you know, a nicer image. And we'll give it a turbo first pass, so it'll go faster. Our frame rate, we want to be the same as the source. And we don't want it variable. We'll make it a constant frame rate. And in this case, we're going to use the advanced options panel so we click on that, and then we go to Advanced. The only thing we're going to check here is we're going to change our reference frames from 1 to 3. Now we're going to go to Audio, and we're going to change our bitrate from 160 
to 128. Now, if we were going to go uh, somewhere other than YouTube or Vimeo, we could go all the way down to 80, but we'll keep it at 128 here for the bit rate. And we've already checked the video, and now there's one more really, really important thing that we need to do. Because if we don't do this, it won't play properly on the web, and that's to click Web Optimize right here. And then we're just going to choose a place where we would like it to go. We'll go to the desktop, and you see we'll just give it a name, Car Shoot Final MP4. Click Save, click Start, and that's it. And now it will tell us about how long it's going to take. Uh, it's going to take about a minute to encode, probably because we're already at 1280 by 720. And that's all there is to that. Hey, I bet you can't tell which of these videos is the original and which is the copy. And that's really the goal. And that's what you'll be able to do with Handbrake. If you use this method, then all of your videos, no matter how they were shot, will look as good as they can online. Now, if the videos were not shot well, so that they're already out of focus or not well exposed or not composed properly, well, there's nothing this software can do to fix those problems. For that, I would suggest looking into some of our programs that, that help you make videos you'll be proud of. You can find those at our website. Until next time, I'm Steve Washer with BrainyVideo.com.